I looked out here right now and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> there was a snake out there. Look at that dangling down. From far away, it looks like a snake and it's gonna get longer than this, but this is a snake beat. The vine has started creeping all throughout the garden tunnel and I planted it several months ago, but nothing produced. Oh, I don't know. I know it's not a snake, but I don't know why it still makes it feel like weird inside. But look at it. These can get really thick and I wanted them in the garden because I wanted them to dangle, but also because I wanted them to scare birds away. And look, this is the rest of the vine that's climbing up the shade cloth. It's probably gonna produce a lot more, honestly. Wow. <laughs> but look, from far away, I was like, what the heck is that? Oh, this is what the flowers look like. The snake bean is huge at this point. Oh, and it's a little bit hairy, which is kind of freaky. So I should have harvested this one when it was a lot smaller, but the reason I let it get so big is because I don't know if the plant will produce anymore and I don't want to have to buy more seeds. So I figured if it only produced one, I was going to save the seeds from at least one of the fruit, let it get super, super ripe, and then I'm going to use those to plant again next year. And then next year will be the year that I actually get to try it. it looks like it's so blooming though, so maybe we'll get something, but just in case we don't, that's the plan for now. Finally got to harvest the snake in the garden. This is python snake bean. I think it might be taller than me. Yep. I am terrified of reptiles. So whenever this was growing in the garden, when I first noticed it, I remember I was a little bit freaked out by it because I didn't realize that's what it was. And then after that, every single time I walked through the garden and I accidentally bumped up against it, it freaked me out because it totally looks like a snake. We're not gonna eat this one. When I first grew it, I was planning to eat it, but then I changed my mind because this is the only one that the whole vine produced and I think I used up all the seeds. So instead of eating it, I decided to do what I used to do when I first started gardening is if a plant only produced a little bit, I would leave that on the plant and then I would let it mature and then I would save the seeds and then plant it again the next year and then that's when I would get harvest. So. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a good amount of seeds from this python snake bean and then I can save those and plant them again this year. This I'm gonna bring indoors and I'll just cut, cut it open maybe tomorrow.
The inside is very like weird and stringy. It doesn't smell bad though. It smells sort of like a cucumber. Very like fresh or like a melon or something. I think these are the seeds. Oh my gosh, that is a seed. It's definitely too ripe to eat, but I just wanted to save it for the seeds. Oh, I don't like the texture of this. Oh no, and I accidentally broke one of the seeds. Okay, I think I just gotta be more careful. Oh, I just broke another seed, damn it. The seeds are encased like this. Oh, no way, these are two. I mean, I, I peel the orange stuff away and I'm left with this. It's, it feels um like slimy and stuff. This part right here, that's turning yellow. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave that part alone. It's too, like, too rotty for me. But look how fibrous that, that is. Are there no seeds in this one? Oh, this, this portion of it didn't have very many. That is so weird. I thought it would be like seeds running throughout. Oh, okay. This is the other half. Where's all the seeds? Look, there's no seeds in there. Hmm, that's weird. Are those all the seeds I got from this huge thing? Oh my god. Maybe I should have... But you know what? The vine was dying back, but maybe this just needed to mature a little bit longer. Yeah, because it looks like there's little areas like this where maybe that's where the seeds were going to start forming. But they never fully did. So out of the whole entire other half, I got zero seeds. I was able to salvage five of them. And that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> At this point, I should have just eaten it and ordered more seeds. Should I just plant them like this? I think I'm just going to plant them like this. Where should I put it? I have the option of these trellises. Last year, I grew them alongside the grapes over on that trellis. I do want them in a portion of the main garden only because I want them to keep away the birds. And when they were planted here, the birds definitely were staying away quite a bit. Maybe I'll just plant a couple right here next to the roses. So I'm just gonna dig a hole, drop a seed. Dig another hole, drop another seed. Who knows if these will even germinate. I didn't let them dry out. I don't ferment them or anything. I have two more. And I think these are gonna go on the other side of the garden. There's lots of open containers here, but I think I'm gonna plant them right next to these fava beans.